A shell bursts into three identical fragments such that the kinetic energy of the system increases by eta times. We need to find what maximum velocity can one of the fragments obtain. So let's say our three fragments have their velocities v1 vector, v2 vector and v3 vector. And we are going to maximize v1 in this problem. We can write the equation of conservation of momentum first, which is, so I'm not writing masses here. So this is 3m and this will be mv1 plus mv2. So I'm just neglecting that. So we'll get our first equation that is 3v vector is equal to v1 vector plus v2 vector plus v3 vector. And it's given that kinetic energy has increased 1.4 eta times. So for writing the initial kinetic energy, it's uh, 3 into half mv square. So eta times that is the final kinetic energy. So again, I am just cancelled half m from everywhere. So this is the equation which we get from conserving energy. Not conserving actually, it's increased by eta times. So just writing that equation. That's it. We cannot, we don't have any more equations and we need to maximize v1. So you can imagine that here we have a vector terms and here we have just magnitude terms. So sum of square of these three variables is constant. And here the vector sum of these three vector these three variable vectors is also constant because they have given v vector and they have given eta. So we'll use this equation to decide direction if magnitudes are known and we will use this equation to determine magnitude if directions are known. So individually we will use these equations to optimize such that we get maximum value of v1. So let's do the first part and decide the direction for this v1 to have its maximum magnitude. So you can imagine now that all these four are vectors and we need to maximize one of the vectors if other three vectors are known in magnitude. So it's quite obvious that for a given magnitude of V, V2 and V3, this arrangement gives maximum value of V1. So again, with given magnitude of these three vectors, this will give, when you just add them, that will give the maximum magnitude of V1. So you can see that V1 is on this side and V2 and V3, when they will go on the other side, they will become minus V2 and minus V3. So vectorially, I can write this equation as V1 vector is equal to 3V vector minus V2 vector minus V3 vector. And in order for V1 to be maximum, for these three given magnitudes, they need to be collinear vectors. And because they are now collinear, we can remove the vector, sums, vector sign and we can simply write V1 is equal to 3V plus V2 plus V3, where these represent just the magnitudes. And it will look like this. So this is the system, this is the initially the shell flying like this with some initial momentum. And finally, it will burst apart into three identical fragments. So this is our fragment, which will go in the forward direction in the same direction as 3v, as the v vector, which will have maximum magnitude if v2 and v3 are in exactly opposite directions. So here we have not commented upon the magnitude of it. We have we don't know that yet, but we know that this is the arrangement of the direction. Now let's talk about magnitude. So we have this equation which we got from our kinetic energy that 3 eta v square is equal to v1 square plus v2 square plus v3 square. Now in order to maximize v1 square, some of these two should be minimum because this is a constant which is given in the question. So we need to minimize v2 square plus v3 square. So for that, we can use the AM is greater than GM, which means V2 square plus V3 square by 2 is greater than equal to root of V2 square V3 square. 
So if you want the minimum value of this, that is root of v2 square v3 square. And we want minimum value. So we'll just uh, change this inequality into equal equality, which gives, so if you just cross multiply two here, and v2, v3 will just come out and you can just imagine that this simplifies to v2 minus v3 whole square is equal to zero, which means v2 must be equal to v3. So now we have three equations and we have three variables v1, v2 and v3. So now we can solve v1 and we will get that answer in terms of eta and v, which is our answer.